Hi, we're here to introduce the CC1120 and Performance Line Development Kit. Performance Line is a family of RF devices with the industry's highest RF performance. 65 dB adjacent channel rejection and 90 dB blocking means that it will have great RF range despite the presence of RF interference. My name is Erling Simonsen and with me I have Magnus Vines, Tools Manager for the Low Power RF Group. And Magnus, here we have the uh, Performance Line Development Kit. Uh, what, what is the kit content? So in the Performance Line Development Kit, or the CC1120DK, you'll find quite a lot of equipment. You find two development boards and you find two RF modules with the CC1120 chip. Uh, the antennas you need for testing the performance of the radio and also a debugger for developing software for the MSP430 on the development board. And how about uh, RF frequencies? What frequencies are supported with this kit? This kit uh, contains uh, modules for the 868 and 915 MHz frequency band. And we also have additional development kits where you can have add-on modules like this at different frequencies. So we support other frequencies. It's 169 MHz, it's uh, 420 to 470 MHz, it's um, also 955 MHz. Okay, so all those frequency bands are supported with the kit. Mm -hmm. And uh, these boards also look similar to the value line development kit. So I assume if you have the value line development kit, you can also buy the performance line modules to work with that. Right? That's correct. So if you have the value line development kit, you just need the additional boards and then you get the same uh, contents as uh, in this 1120DK. So how can we test RF performance on this kit? It's actually very easy. Um, we have a pre-programmed packet array test on the MSP430 on the development board. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. So now, when you turn on the board, you will see a screen like this. <laughs> and uh, you can now just press any of the buttons to enter the main menu of the packet array test. Then you can select what kind of test you want to run. So in our case, it's the packet array test. You continue, and for the sake of this video, we'll use the packet array test in the easy mode. You continue with your selections. You select which frequency you want to operate at. And now, at this point, you need to choose which part of the link you want to be. Either you're the master or the slave. So let's see. I'll be the master. Yeah, and I'll be the slave. So when you're the slave, you will now wait for a connection message from the master. And there, the connection and configuration message uh, was received by the slave. And the slave will now start transmitting a lot of packets to the master. And this can now be seen on the screen on the master device. It shows the signal strength and also the, some more statistics about um, the test. You can also just turn or remove the antenna and see how that affects the, um, the signal strength and also the, the test. So on the other statistics screen, you will see how many packets you have received, how many you have lost, um, the calculated packet error rate, the average RSSI value, and also the link budget. Power consumption is important and a lot of energy is wasted in a normal RF system waiting for RF packets. A key feature of the CC1120 is the ability to duty cycle the receiver at a very high frequency. This enables low power consumption when waiting for RF traffic while maintaining full RF performance. We have implemented this in the development kit with an RF RX sniff test mode in the packet array test. So by just setting up um, the development board in RX sniff test mode, you will be able to measure the average current consumption while still receiving packets. So in this case, we measure an average current consumption of less than 3 milliamps 
and the uh, ARF performance is maintained. So if you want to work with the highest performing sub 1 gigahertz RF parts in the market, take a look at TI's RF performance line. For more information and to order the development kit, go to ti.com slash RF performance line. Thank you for watching.